can you describe your team's attitude uh, down nine in the fourth quarter, given all the fourth quarter issues and the way they responded? You know, I, I to kind of get your fourth quarter. I, I thought the whole game we were we, we had great energy, great effort. It, it just comes back, you know, it comes back to reward you when you when you play with that kind of uh, grit and passion and and uh, energy. I thought we were, uh, you know, maybe one of the highest intensity games we've played all year I think you know backs were to the wall a little bit excellent team uh, real credit to the guys and and uh, I thought our defense was uh, outstanding in that second half you know 20 points in the third and then 24 in the in the fourth and uh, a lot of guys contributed you know a lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of really good signs from our from our young players guys off the bench as Spencer put the last yeah. game on him was real hard on himself. How do you feel he responded with 26 points and 14 assists? Yeah, I mean, you talk about fourth quarter. You know, he I thought he was great. You know, it's it's, and he's been really good all year. You know, he went went through a stretch where he's struggling a little bit and and found his kind of found got back on track tonight. That you know you could argue that's that's the number one thing. His outstanding play throughout the game, fourth quarter, difference maker. You, you talked about. Um, you thought the energy was good throughout. I mean, whenever you lose seven games in a row, obviously any win is important, but is there an added benefit to the way you won? I mean, they kind of physically beat you up on the boards the last time. You kind of turned the tables. And Definitely, kind of Brian. That, that was, was in this game. I, you know, before the game, I said if we don't compete with these guys physically and, and energy-wise, it's going to, you know, move. it's going to be tough to even have a chance, quite honestly. So they, they, they I think... They understood that message. I, I do think there are two days, uh, you know, good practice yesterday. Kai coming back and, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, having a good practice with us yesterday. The spirit was real good yesterday in practice. I, I'm kind of corny. I think that stuff carries over. Um, so I, I, I think there was some carryover. I thought... KD coming out and, and being in the huddle and, and talking on the you know, it was just a, a a collective energy with the group that um, you know uh, you know how that can go and go the other way you know when you're when you're it face adversity we we got we 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 became even more together you know tighter as a unit so that that was a bodes well for the future. Kenny, we've a couple. Got we well, talked a little bit over the last couple of games about how it's easy when you're on the sidelines to look at some of Spencer's shot selections and see maybe an open guy, but in the moment it's tough. How would you assess his growth potentially in that area tonight? Yeah, I, I, I think... I think like with uh, you know your quarterback, your guy that's that's running the team, you have a lot of discussions, and I think with Spencer, it, it's it's a he's trying to find that. You know, perfect balance between getting his in te getting his teammates involved, and 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 but still being aggressive. So he's really trying to find that. And 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 uh, at the end of the day, I'd rather him be aggressive. I think I've come. I, I, I've really come to that conclusion. I, I had a good talk with him the other day. Just we need him to be aggressive. Uh, I think that's that's helped us keep afloat and and keep our head above the water when we're we're playing really well. We need him. It's just just it's just that clear. So. Uh, I can live with some uh, um, a couple bad shots, you know, and and uh, uh, but I, I think he's he's continuing to to improve in that area, and and tonight was was a a, a, a good example of him balancing, you know, doing a better balancing act. A couple times during the losing streak, uh, Joe Harris talked about how shooting ebbs and flows. But there's non-negotiables with the 50-50 plays and the effort plays. And did he kind of set the tone for that uh, in the fourth quarter? Absolutely. You know, he he led by his actions. I thought there were some 50-50 balls, some rebounds. He's just flying in there. Um, you know, Joe. Joe's a football player. At the end, he can you can put the pads on him. Uh, uh, he he's 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 a tough dude. Leads by example. Uh, but yeah, he was a big part of that that physicality. But I just I'd be unfair to just single him out. I thought collectively, uh, um, you know, we were, we were we were uh, a very aggressive team tonight.
Kenny, given that Brody's up and down season, what did it mean for you to see him tonight come out and, and play the way he did uh, very efficiently? I hope that's a spark, you know, because the talent's there. Um, we saw it last year. Um, he decided to come out and defend tonight like he, like he did last year. We gave him the assignment of Jimmy Butler. I think that excited him. Um, but to see the shots go down and he's not hesitating, I think we all saw in the beginning of the year, he was really, really struggling with that, really struggling with his confidence. So, uh, you know, he went uh, uh, just 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 seeing that thing go in and no hesitation. I think it helped his, his whole game. Really big reason we won tonight was his his uh, his play.